Dragonfly project is moving along. The Monroe City Council approved an agreement with the Arts Council to restore the sculpture that was in Forsyth Park. Gabby Ballou has an update on the history and fundraising. It's just an iconic piece of public art that the public deserves to see. On December 6th, 1995, the well-known dragonfly was dedicated at Forsyth Park, but was removed in early 2014. The sculpture was created by the late Edmund Williamson, a local artist known for creating large sculptures inside and outside the Twin Cities. Barry Stevens, president and CEO of the Northeast Louisiana Arts Council, says it's time to bring the dragonfly back to Forsyth Park. The city is ready. We've worked out an agreement with them to raise the money to, uh, to refurbish it, and they are anxious to see it return to Forsyth Park. The cooperative endeavor agreement with the city allows for the Neela Arts Council to start a fundraising campaign and hire an artist to restore the dragonfly. The goal for the campaign is to reach $25,000. Steven says although the goal has not been reached yet, they are happy with the progress so far. We're at about, uh, last I looked, around 13 and a half, 14,000 right now. So we still have a ways to go, but we're excited at where we're at right now. Steven says they will put out a request for proposal soon to find an artist who will be in charge of restoring the sculpture. It will require certain skills, specialized skills to, to rehabilitate it, but that's a process we'll go through and once we select that artist then, then we'll engage them. Stephen says he hopes the dragonfly will be finished by the next year for it to be rededicated. The dedication was in 1995, December of 1995. I would love to see us time it to where we can rededicate it on the 30th anniversary. For more information on how you can donate to help restore the dragonfly, visit our website at knoe.com. In Monroe, I'm Gabby Ballou with KNOE 8 News.